Hey Jack, who are we interviewing today? I have no idea. Hang on. Yeah, buddy. Let's go! What are the ingredients you use at Pixar to make a great movie? To make a great film, I believe you have to do three things really well. Tell a compelling story that is unpredictable, keeps the audience on the edge of their seat. You populate that story with really appealing and memorable characters and put that story and those characters in a believable world. Believable for the story you're telling. Not realistic. We're not interested in reproducing reality. It's a believable world. So those three components are kind of the guiding um, structure of this exhibit. You see the development of the story through our storyboards. At Pixar, we, we developed the story on the, the written word, on the script, but just in the very beginning. And then we go into creating the storyboards of, of the, the story. It's like a comic book version of the story. And that's where our story is developed. You see lots of that artwork. It's very quick and very rough, but it tells a story. It's amazing. You know, when you know our films, you look up there and you go, Oh, that's, that's the movie. It's a fa fantastic. Um, developing the character design goes hand in hand with developing the story. And you see many, many versions of certain characters. We really do a tremendous amount of experimentation in this, this way. So it's very interesting. And we produce three-dimensional sculptures of our characters. Because we always start with a two-dimensional drawing but our final product is truly three-dimensional within the computer. And then the worlds that we create have to be so believable, and we do a tremendous amount of research for whatever worlds we're creating, but we want you to believe that these worlds exist on the final screen. So you will see some unbelievable art, landscape paintings, drawings, de from tiny details, because in our world, character and uh, computer animation, you get nothing for free. You can't go on location and shoot a computer anime film. Everything is created by the artists at Pixar. So you see artwork from all of those three categories in this exhibit. How do you instill emotions into your works? To us, color is emotion. It gives every scene an underlying emotion you can't describe in dialogue. And this is planned out. These are the color scripts for Toy Story 3. And, and the production designer, as you see, they're very, very rough. In fact, these are very, painted very small. These are blown up here. But it, it, it's amazing to sit back as a director and you can look at the, the emotional arcs through the entire film, because you feel it when you see the color. You feel it when you see the lighting. And this has, was never done in film production prior to Pixar. And we think it's, we now cannot make a film without doing a color script. And they're absolutely beautiful. How does the development of a feature animated film begin? At the beginning of the development of every Pixar film is the story and the storyboard. These are original storyboard drawings from our first film, Toy Story. And this is one of my favorite sequences. It's the Army Man sequence. If you remember at the beginning when Woody sends out the little green Army Men that we all had as kids down to set up a reconnaissance host to spy on the birthday party to see what new toys are coming. And you see here, 
it, it illustrates in each drawing, in each drawing, you know, all the key components that we were, we wanted to establish the army men as being exactly what you thought they were as a child. They were not cheap little plastic toys. They were the finest military trained, you know, ar army special operations officers that they were. And so, but we celebrated the fact that they were cheap toys with their feet still attached to the bases and all. And it's all established here. And, and these story drawings are designed to be read very instantly. You get what's going on. We always direct the audience's eye to, to exactly where we want you to be looking to tell the story. And these are some of the finest examples of storyboard drawings from Pixar. How did the Pixar exhibition in Milan come about? I the exhibit yeah. came about really because John had always had this incredible love and admiration of the art and the artists of Pixar. And as he realized, people always just think about the technology and they were writing about how this extraordinary technology, which is in the storytelling and the films, but they didn't understand or know that these artists, these traditional skills, old-fashioned if you want to call them, of drawing and painting were such an important part of what we do. So he had said, we need at one point to, to share this with the world. And when the Museum of Modern Art in New York asked us if we were interested, he was like, yes. And he asked me to, to work with the curators and to really show kind of the best of our art and our artists. And it, you know, what I love about it is people come in the exhibit, and whether it's children or art students or filmmakers or parents or families, just people who love looking at beautiful things, you see this delight and amazement. One, because they recognize the characters and they're so familiar, but also because they're seeing works of art that are beautiful. What's it like making your dreams come true and then sharing them with an audience? Thank you for the question. I, uh, you know, everyone has their own sense of accomplishment. For every person it's different. You know, some people, you know, in the, hall, in the movie business it's opening weekend box office. To me, it is sitting in an audience anonymously and watching an audience watch my film and seeing how our films entertain an audience. This is where I get my greatest you know, sense of accomplishment and, and great satisfaction. Um, Five days after Toy Story opened, I was traveling with my family. And we were in the Dallas, Texas airport, changing planes. Five days after Toy Story came out, I walked off the plane and there was a little boy holding a Woody the Cowboy doll. It was the first time I had seen a child outside of Pixar, outside of my family, holding this character I had created, that we had created. The look on his face, he could not wait to show his father this toy of his. I will never forget that little boy's face for as long as I live. And every day at Pixar, I think of that little boy's face and how what we do moves audiences around the world. He was the first time I had seen that. And that's why I do what I do. That's why we put so much effort in artistry and creativity in our films so that every Pixar film, no matter what subject matter, 
you will be entertained deeply from when the lights dim in the theater to when the credits start to roll. And it's, and it's, um, it's because of this little boy. It keeps reminding me of why we do what we do. Is Mr. Tails hiding in one of these drawings? Oh,